All right. A new recording has begun. You might be, I, I was about to say, we're back with more RimWorld Biotech. And those in the chat are probably like, what? Back? We never left. But if you're watching this later on on YouTube or VOD, uh, I just was recording. It is the same day. This is day two of Biotech. And uh, yeah, we just had our first burned raiders. And we just had our first live birth. We've had babies in the tr in the uh, colony already, but we just had the first live birth. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get this. Where are you taking that? No, no, let's not do that. In fact, let's go ahead and turn off construction. I'm gonna put people. Uh, excuse me. We go into structure. And we put wood fencing back in here. There we go. There we go. Experiment is about to age up also, which would be interesting to see what he gets. But uh, yeah, so far, biotech has been pretty awesome, pretty fun. I've enjoyed it so far. I think our bot was going out to get that corpse, but I feel like it's going to be rotten before he gets there. So you're a new video. You are. Hi, me watching this later on YouTube. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you for watching. Uh, a little eat and eat. Yeah, it was ridiculous. So for anyone that didn't see it, Arilla had this baby and she breastfed it and then threw it in the floor. <laughs> so you can have them at buildings on a roof. Thank you. Yeah, that will save us a lot of uh, a lot of area then. Yeah, thank you for checking that. So. All right. Well, experiment. Can you deliver the wood? That would be pretty awesome of you. Pretty awesome of you. We're going to reload the oven. Or can you send screenshots? Uh, you can post, a, um, if you've been in the Discord long enough, you can just post them in the RimWorld channel. If you've not been in the Discord long enough, you can always uh, just post the link to them if you want. Can you collect baby organs? I'll check. I'll check. She can walk now, so. Let me do this and then I'll check. Hey, finish that off. Actually, one of the SMGs survived. Look at that. So we can send the bot for that. If we want. I, I don't think I want to worry about it, though. Hey. Get out of there, bot. All right. So that is set back up. So... Now we can go in to work here and turn construction back on. Okay. Uh, I know children give adult organs, but do babies also? You can't. You can't harvest a baby's organs. Oh my God, guys. You cannot harvest a baby's organs, but you can when they become a child. I'm using fluid ideology. So right right now, we just have supremacy and human primacy. You think it matters about putting it to the head? So will the mother just automatically feed it? You can give the baby drugs, it looks like, though. Yeah, give them... You give them ambrosia. You can euthanize the baby by cutting. That's brutal. Euthanize by cut. Anesthetic. Administer ambrosia. Extract... We could extract blood if it was a little bit bigger of a baby, I guess. You have to wait until they're at least two to cut out their liver. All right. All right, the more you know. The more you know. There we go. We're actually going to get steel. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> oh, she's actually already in here completely. Abrasive, recluse, nimble. Hey, wild person. Guess what? That's right, mix. Mix is what? 
Now, if you can kindly beat her to death. Thank you. Appreciate that. As you were. All right. Nice. Can you enslave the child? Wait, where'd she go? I'll have to wait until uh, she's not breastfeeding it. There, she actually put it back that time. All right, let's see. You cannot arrest the child or enslave it or the baby. Could have brain scanned her first. That's true, yeah. It doesn't kill them, though, in this one. I don't have the brain ripper yet. You hate the questions that Rimworld is having us ask. Yeah. Can you kindly beat her to death? Colonists care about killing your own. She wasn't our own. She was a wild person. Does it continue from yesterday? Yes. Peter Pan and Neverland next playthrough. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the next. I'll put a poll out probably, but. All right. He's getting repaired. I mean, he has been for a while, I guess, but. Stop right there, criminal scum. Three-year-old. <laughs> Can you brain scan the baby? I doubt it. I don't want to turn it back on to see. Uh, all right, I'll do it. I'll I'll turn it on just to see if it's an option, but I highly doubt it. Insulting spree on Get a Life Gamer. Is he insulting the baby? What? Gamer! Oh no, he has a knife. Wait, wait, wait. Why isn't he stopping? That's weird. Does the baby even understand being insulted? I don't think it was it looked like it, but I don't I don't think uh I don't think it actually counted. I don't think it counted. Gamer, you can clean that up. <laughs> you smell like crap, baby. Well no no joke. Obviously. Wiggly sausage fingered child of Cthulhu. <laughs> uh, it's having a mental uh, state of giggling. <laughs> it's so happy. He is so happy. Good crib, moderate expectations. Parents are happy. Baby's just in a giggle fit. Fantastic. Just giggling the insults away. <laughs> no insults don't affect me. Get that steel. Well, guys, baby, I'm definitely going to try stuff like that. Don't you worry. Uh, let's give the mother back her assault rifle. There you go. Get your assault rifle back now that you've had your baby. Is giggling even mood buff? Oh, for like other people around. Happy youngster plus two. Baby giggling plus four. Wow. Nice. Maybe we just have babies all over the base strategically for, for mood boosts. How much coverage does a baby giggle <laughs> take? Yeah, I don't know what the range is on it. Yeah. Not sure. Unrealistic. Scan steel. Uh, that one's... Uh... Okay. 
400 babies. Build your walls from the base. It depends on what weapons I'm planning on using in the game. In, in late game, if I'm using assault rifles, I do about 25 to 28 so that the perimeter all basically becomes a good range for assault rifles. Uh, but yeah, it depends on the playthrough. Sometimes a lot tighter if I'm going to use different weapons. What have you been up to this weekend? Uh, science, uh, science, some youth studies. Sarah hates children trait. I haven't seen one yet, so nothing I know of, but not that I know of. Uh, I wonder if the planting mechs can plant in these. I guess we're going to find out real soon. Okay. Yeah, we are getting, uh, getting steel now, which is... Fantastic. Fantastic. Scan more steel. Uh, it's not very far. It's outside the kill box. Place the legs of babies with bionics. You, you can't. Yeah. They suddenly walk. No, you can't do it. <laughs> He's back. The constructoid is back. There you go, little guy. Welcome back. Scrap is back. All oh, right. Scrap. Control group two. There you go. Up getting Chinese. I did. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, we did. We had celebratory Chinese dinner. My wife posted the pictures on Discord. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and do these festivals. Any dying? I guess I will finally put more pews in. Mm. Quest. Force weather. For a barrel? 18 days for a barrel? No thanks. I'll just go buy one if I need one. What does a brain scanner do? It produces these subcores that you use for the slightly larger size mechs. The child is beating the walls. It's only a fog. Yes, but there's more to it than just fog. So not only will the fog reduce our accuracy and stuff like that, but fog and forced weather events like that actually make it so forced rain can't happen. So what that means if any part of the map gets set on fire, especially in here, uh, rain will never come put it out because the fog is there and so the fire can get really crazy especially if we're out fighting other stuff so does no pause have a 4x button now it always has yeah it always has it's a steel for barrel no <laughs> a 4x hotkey yes yes it does the hotkey is new to the official no pause yet fancy bonus in the melee run yes so for anyone that doesn't think force fog can kill you Go watch my melee only run. I did a 500% no pause run. Melee only. No grenades, no EMPs, no, you know, IEDs, no turrets, none of that. No mortars, just melee only. Uh, Exclamation melee will take you there. And uh, yeah, we, we had a bunch of people die to a fog event. Ink Boy was one of them. Ink Boy probably deserved it though. Chat was going so fast. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, that sucks. I'll have to let him know. How's the kidnapped crafting girl doing? She's good. Yeah, she's grown up now. She's grown up now. Welcome home. Is that floors? Growth moment. Here we go. Experiment. The one that we got as a three-year-old. Let's see what he gets. Let's see what he gets. I literally use floors in every run once I get to mid and late game. And for like the last eight runs, I've used concrete floors early game. So I've been using concrete floors for every run now since like June. <laughs> so, all right. Hey, look at all the options here. So we can get him uh, increased in crafting further. We can add him to mining, construction, or shooting. Tough, tough trigger happy. Oh my God. Yeah, we need Oh yeah, no worries, no worries. Tough trigger happy. I'm actually thinking about adding shooting. With tough trigger happy, shooting seems nice. 
I already have like three decent crafters already. Oh, three. I didn't even notice that. Usually we only get one. We've never treated them so well. We get three. So we can get crafting to tier two. We can get shooting and plants maybe. Yes, thank you. I've never treated a child so well as to get three. He can be a doctor now. He's old enough to be a doctor at 10 years old. Who is he, Doogie Hauser? It's like five people in chat know that reference, but the five of you that do know. Right, right. All right, I'm, I'm doing this. Change heart with the floors. Why not plant daily as they were? I've gone over it a bunch of times. I need to do a clip of it, L. I'm also a doctor. <laughs> LOL, I mean, I'm way too young to know that. <laughs> All right, I'll go already in. So why do I change over to concrete floors in the late early game now? So I use daylilies to start with. However, after a lot of testing, um, Smurf did, and, and I've done some testing as well. Concrete plus statues give more beauty here stat, not room beauty, but more beauty here stat than any other combination in the game, really. Um, as far as like where it caps on, on the beauty here mood increase. And it also makes it so, uh, since, since you don't get food poisoning from dirty cooking area, if something is cleaner than negative two, it actually makes it so even when the room's like bloody because of the size and, and whatnot, uh, we can still cook without the cleanliness penalty or without the food poisoning. And we get the, uh, we don't have to do as much work. So we don't have to replant the flowers and it increases movement speed. So after the very early game, I pretty much always switch over to concrete and statues. Early game, I still use the day lilies for the initial room impressiveness and the mood. But after that, uh, I switch over in order to get the other benefits once I can handle the extra um, wealth that, that brings. But yeah, it's the beauty here stat is what ends up being important with the uh, with the statues. We'll make more of those later. And it'll help with like unsightly environment. They, they generally don't get that with the day lilies everywhere too, but yeah, in the long run, it can help with that. Yeah, especially if you don't want to keep planting a ton. I don't look old enough to know who Doogie Hauser is. Uh, thank you, buddy, but I am. <laughs> My colony rooms are 13 by X walls. Yeah, 13 by X. All right, all right. I, I do know. Steel. That one's kind of far away. How old am I? How old did you think I was, coffee? Just, just coffee. How old coffee? The kids are now in college. Ah, uh, Caesar. Thank you for the gift sub. Caesar, thank you for the gift sub to Rude Morgue. 25, 28. <laughs> 29. Late game floors, I just use concrete now, yeah. At least nine. At least nine is a real, yeah. It's accurate. Over tid is also accurate, yeah. All right, we got enough food. Let's go ahead and start doing this. You'd never watch Doogie Hauser, but you remember it was on. Mid-30. All right, let's do this. 69, 420. You got it. You got it. There's no way you really think I'm 25. He's somewhere between 29 and 92. Are we one of those tribes that don't give them names so they... Oh, you know what? It kept the name. First name, Baby. And it's just showing the last name. What's the crap? 26. Your age is 30-ish. 34.5. What's the total time it takes for a baby to grow up? Default, a baby grows up one year every 15 days. A child grows one year every 15 days, default. Carpenter X2, longer clean. That's interesting, yeah. 42. This is the name for self, respecting baby boy. It's a last name. It's their last name, I think. All right, no join that time. Uh, Motto, they have the reset. Thank you, Motto. Very much appreciated. Child, can you stop beating on the walls? 
You, uh, oh, I've seen that name, Bad Doc, yeah. Not enough gray to be 42. Oh no, the baby's crying. What's the mood debuff? What, it's stacking. Wants to play. Breastfeed it. <laughs> Does it stop it from crying? The baby's crying, shove something in its mouth. That's not that's not a way to raise a child. Not at all. Alright, I'll give you some baby stuff here. You can have that. You can have a toy box. Enjoy yourself. He wasn't hungry, so. She's already trying to make another baby. Plus four loving. She just gave birth like two days ago. There. Perfect. Administer the Ambrosia? No. <laughs> no. Perfect. Give you a hint. I am almost 36. I'm almost 36. How do I feel about child labor? Do you mean in real life or in RimWorld? In RimWorld, I'm all for it. Real life? No. Yeah, I'm 35 at the moment, yeah. 35, almost 36. Same age. Oh, we need more steel. More steel. I'm actually older than you. I think I look 25. I don't think so, but I'm glad you think so. Thanks. Spot on. I look younger. Thanks. It's not child labor if you don't <laughs> pay them. That's right. That's slavery. All right, let's do the uh, do another one here. <clears throat> Baby on Ambrosia might be a psychic harmonizer. Doogie went off the air in 93, but they didn't stop doing reruns in 93, right? Aged gracefully. That's what happens when you lock yourself indoors for 12 years and barely see the sun. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, I didn't I didn't watch it live. I watched the reruns. Uh, we just had a child join. A five-year-old with a gas mask. No traits, nothing else. They're already five. All right, we'll see what they get. Maybe they turn out to be a godly one, like, experiment. So, she's actually coming with a shiv already. So, we got a fallout child with a shiv. Nice, nice, excellent. Love to see it. Just love it, love it, love it. Right. She's also, yeah, yeah, growth tier seven, yeah. I didn't even notice that. That's actually really nice. So, can you join the colony? Uh, there's a, so if you go down under the chat, you'll see something called silver, and you can use channel points to get in the queue. But, what was the quality birth of your daughter in real life? <laughs> <laughs> Where this one? Where's the child? Oh, breastfeeding again. Really wants to play. We'll play then. How do I make someone play with this child? Play with him. There you go. What, what? Where are you taking him? Out in the rain? This child's only a couple years old and you're taking him out in the rain into the rice field? Let's go. Let's go shake the baby by the mortar. Shake the baby by the mortar. Well, that, was, that was my favorite game as a as an infant, you know? If a rain happened, we just drop it. All right. There you go. Tired, minus 12, and go to sleep. These idiot babies. <laughs> Just literally sleep. Launch babies in the mortar? No. I'm sure there'll be a mod for it, though. Go to sleep, baby. 
Babies are so dumb. It's like they have no life experience, no common sense. What's wrong with them? Is there a limit on what you can name your pawn? It's literally just named after you. There's no input. Kick the baby. Don't kick the baby. Scan more steel. Far away. All right, do it again. Deep scanner won't pop resources. It has, there's just been far away. Yeah. We do have some in the base. We're gonna play a game called manual labor. Boring, come on. Yeah, I think those are probably for children, not the babies. Yeah. I think so too. How many children does it take to paint a wall? Oh, speaking of painting, um, I mean, I guess it should be obvious, but for anyone that doesn't know, painting the walls and stuff in the game is actually an art. Uh, it gives art experience, and it takes an art um, uh, work schedule to do, and it actually takes precedent over making sculptures. This is a DLC. It's a DLC. Yeah. Biggest DLC they've released. Pretty massive. Yeah. All right, we got two more. Can you buy or sell babies? It doesn't seem so. You can buy and sell embryos, but not babies. You can buy and sell children, but not babies. Painting is a quick job, yep. Yeah. All right, one more. Do children get backstories when they grow up? They get colonist baby and then colonist, yeah, which just kind of default. Hermit request is pretty messed up. They are. All right. So we are going to finally um, change our ideology. So we're going to go in and reform because we are fluid ideology. And I think I might just go with proselytizer for now. Until we see what else is coming along. Collective is also always good, but especially since we haven't been able or haven't needed to use our um, combat thing very often. Like, Collectivist Work Drive should be fine, but I I just always hate putting the, uh, the combat one on cooldown. We'll just get Proselytizer for now. All right. All that's the same. And we are going to redo these. So this will remove the cooldown. There's also a bug right now where when you are using fluid ideology and you change your fluid ide ideology, you have to remake your altar, which is uh, kind of annoying. Anytime random recruits, anytime random recruits, anytime random recruits. Okay, got all six of those. Everything else is normal. We'll see if they fixed it since yesterday, actually. You can't do a gladiator, gladiator fight with the children now. Back to as deleting and recreating the rituals. I haven't, I've never tried just hitting regenerate yet. I'll have to try that sometime. Why do I use the altar instead of the other options? Because an altar can fit in an altar closet. And you might be saying to yourself, Adam, what the crap is an altar closet? Well, do I have the clip for you? There it is. There's the clip. It's a short clip, but the ideograms are too big to fit in this one tile closet. That's why. Regenerate doesn't work with the bug right now. Yeah, the bug is still there. We can see. It's unfortunate. Why no statues? You mean like this statue and this one? And this one? And this one? And this one? No idea. No idea. <laughs> I have statues. Taking too long, robot. In the ideology. If you add a statue in the ideology, they can get upset if you don't have it. So and there's just no reason for you to have it at the moment. Because then they'll be like, we want the scary idol or whatever, you know, whatever it is. Then just make them the idol. Yeah, later. Explain the concrete. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if you post that in the Discord, I will make a command for it. Thank you. The baby hasn't slept still. 
Go to sleep, child. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. When can children mine? What age was that? Was it seven? I don't remember. I think it was seven. I think mining was seven, but I don't remember. We're going to have a lot of extra rice. It's fine, though. I'll take some of it off. You think it's being woken up by the constant hammering? Oh, yeah, no way. Baby's going to sleep through hammering. It's fine. He slept through his parents getting 4x loving right beside of it. The Winston Waves run? I don't know. It's not good for me to upload it right now. It's only good for me to upload. I want to get those up on there, but uh, unfortunately, the DLC came way faster than I, I expected. Did that not fix it this time? It's because I copied it. Wow. So even copying it builds the wrong one. That's a real pain. So you actually have to destroy them and go into ideology and build it from here. Well, what a pain. Reenacting all over twists. <laughs> me dealing with children. I will do a run where we have to actually like really care for children and whatnot, you know. But it is not this run. How's biotech? I like biotech a lot so far, yeah. Boy, breaking your modded save. I can understand that. All right, that worked. Mrs. Doubtfire, RimWorld Edition. <laughs> kind of wish we'd get another friggin' normal raid. A nurture run. Yeah, good guy run with all the baby stuff, yeah. <laughs> you understand the closet with Y2 altars? Because you need this one to get the quality of the room. So if you do the ritual, I can't fit pews in that closet. And I can't have room quality in that closet for this you know uh, i also can't fit anyone in there so the participants it'll fail so you need the other one somewhere else and and this one can be somewhere with workstations and beds because one of them is in a closet so they don't get unhappy about it nurture my parents be able to talk when grown up uh in this game yes yes Do we actually have four people that can mine now? Let's see. Okay. They can, yeah, they can still talk. Now, whether they'll be very good at anything or not, that's another that's another question. How caught up is this YouTube channel? So the episode that went on YouTube was the first two hours of my eight hour stream yesterday. And now we're almost 16 hours in or something. A three-year-old paralytic abasia. I haven't had abasia yet. I, I wasn't even thinking about it. We haven't had an abasia join yet. I hadn't thought of that yet at all. Probably just gonna leave some of that wall. Scan some plasteel, nice. Freaking baby's crying. What does it want? Where are you? You're not breastfeed. You're not hungry. Sparky. Play with that baby. Broke your save game. I'm Whoops. 
What mod was it? Do you know? Scan Plasteel. Pretty far away. We need to give the child its name within the first day. First name, baby. I did. Could also give it a nickname. Baby. What have I been doing with toxic waste? I've been going and dumping them at other people's settlements. They get upset about it, but what are they going to do about it? Attack me? Yes, yes, that's exactly what they'll do. Did you just name the baby baby? Yeah. It has to survive childhood before he gets a name. Toxic waste cannot go on shells, no. Uh, neither can chunks or large bodies. Alright. Okay. So let's go ahead and haul off some excess here. Now that we're overproducing, finally. Uh, cloth will take... Oh, I need to set up clothing rules. Just leave the cloth for now. Someone asked me about that earlier, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that later. And then so many things. We've been, we've been doing so many things. But... All right. On the road. And let's get that set up. So... We're going to go into production. We'll start with the electric tailor. And uh, let's throw it up here. Then we will grab a shelf. Uh, starting second colony with just one person. That's nothing but toxic waste storage. You could do that. Yeah, especially if they were a waster. Sell them the pollution. <laughs> they have, it has no market value. Well, I give pawns their own rooms. I will absolutely not. Aren't they getting to stir sleep? It only stacks to minus three and the barracks is giving them way bigger mood than that. So. Children are probably high priority rate. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I try to answer. Yeah, I try to answer as much as I can. Cloth. Uh, devil strand. Eventually. Rumbo fur. All right. I should just link those. So well. Oh well. Buy toxic waste and get silver too. Yeah, that would be interesting, especially as a waster. All right, so we're going to set up some just basic clothing rules. So uh, I am going to just go with dusters this time. Uh, for now, at least for our basic clothing, we're going to do button down shirts. We're going to do. Uh, yeah, we did caves the last couple times, so I'll just do dusters. So, man, we'll get some of this new stuff. Kid pants. Our kids are going to be naked until they become adults, I guess. <laughs> at least for right now. At least right now. It's kind of weird seeing this stuff in here. It feels like a mod, you know? But it's not. It's not. All right. Uh, duster. And then what else? What else? Sash. Bandolier. I was told the bandolier makes it so you reload faster, which is kind of cool. Um, anything else new? Anyone else see anything else new? Bray Hood. Those type of things were all ideology romper for the babies yeah is there a difference between cape and duster not defensively capes take longer to make and they're not as weather resistant so uh speed wagon thank you for the twitch prime thank you speed wagon and tush i'm gonna go with tush there is the twitch prime here oh right the face mask thank you someone mentioned that before it's you face mask for preventing some of the like toxic fumes a little bit so all right so we're gonna make this we're gonna do until we have x where x we're gonna do two for right now 
And we're going to do 51% or better, normal or better. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that as is. And we will unsuspend that. So do until we have X. We're going to do two on this one as well until we get everything settled. 51 or better, normal. Do until we have X. X is one. So what this is doing is basically it's going to make uh, sure that we have clothing around that isn't tattered. So capes get bonus for coolness. I know that's why I wear them sometimes. No, <laughs> that sounds like I wear them in real life. In RimWorld, I'll do playthroughs occasionally where I use capes instead. I'll come back to that. Uh, it's so weird seeing mechs prepare for a while. I'm not sure I'm ever going to get used to that. A new one. One of the new mechs. All right, so this side, we got some Militors. We got the normal array. Then here's one of the new ones, a Centurion. Shield energy 300. Intercepts ground projectiles. So it's like a massive shield belt. It's not like a low shield so much as like a massive shield belt. So, Mechanosaur raids, not that I know of. If we kill it, we get eight components and whatever we get from breaking down its body. We're going to see if uh, EMP breaks it, just like with other ones. Yeah, I don't know how fast the shield regenerates or anything like that. Key music. So good. Has a badger face. Yeah, I'm hoping it takes a while, like a shield belt. That's what I expect, but... Tile inspector is new. With the alt, it is, yeah. You could do... T um, yeah, you could inspect some with, like, the beauty and the room thing, but holding alt is a new thing, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's the one that's called Nimbo Stratus. All right. Here they come. Check all the doors just in case. All right, playlist. It's called P Music. It's a Rimworld music mod. P Music. That's P is in pterodactyl music. is in pneumonia uh because i don't have this set up for a for a target yet so i will do it but right now i don't i don't have it set up Okay, we're set up a little early, just a little. <laughs> oh, look, he's building more defense while we're set up. That is pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> that's that's pretty awesome. Gotta love that. Nice job, little guy. Way to go. Excellent. Just love it, love it, love it. <laughs> EMP mine? No. Bought the callable mechs yet? One of them, yeah. 
What a good little robot. Catatonic. Oh no, one of the one of the children that we have locked in prison has gone catatonic. Why that lag like that? What's crap? Well, we gotta get our shooting leveled up. Ratchet, no! Run, Ratchet, run! Yeah, we gotta get our shooting leveled up. There's the big one coming. I think it's gonna be dead before the big one gets here. We gotta get some plastic on there. Prison break? Oh my god. Friggin' Lester. Of course he went after the children. Baby he once played with during this. Friggin' children. Lester. Lester might die now. I don't care. Yeah, that one's gonna... Man, those are slow. I think they gotta speed those up so they get... Oh no, Ram! They gotta speed those up so they get to your... Uh, the base a little bit quicker, I think. Our shooting really sucks. Holy crap. That's what happens when you don't have raids for a long time. So we're gonna have to res Ram. Did the child just pick up the adult and throw him in prison? Yeah, just wait until you see a baby hauling a thrumbo. It's a sight to behold. They they literally you can have a toddler carrying a centipede. So I want reinforced walls. Yeah, it would be really nice. Yeah. This is even with, like, not great guns and not great shooting. So I'm really curious if this just gets broken in one EMP. That's what I really want to see here. Here we go. We probably won't know. It does. Just a single EMP. He's moving while stunned! What? Excuse me, sir. That's illegal. <laughs> stunned. I'm stunned, by the way. What a cheater. Look how stunned I am. Watch me. As I move towards you. Menacingly. Stunned. Tokyo drifting towards us. <laughs> um, smoke launcher to train shooting sword. I haven't tried it, but I imagine it's not fixed. I didn't see it in the in the bug fixes. 
I could do that. I could try. Uh, I could train the child doing that. How much raid points are those? They must be quite a bit of raid points, actually, but I don't know how terrifying they are. No, like, if those come with centipedes, you know, that, that sounds a little, a little scary, but they seem really slow. So it came with a bunch. It, they were slower than pikemen by quite a bit. From Star Wars, where before it's in combat, it moves fast without a shield. They move super slow when the shields are up. Yeah, yeah, that would be kind of interesting. Got wiped by mechs. Which mechs did they get wiped by? Who died? A prisoner named Lester. Lester, the child beater. We won't miss him. Okay. That's right. Do I have time to describe? Okay, so to force insects to spawn in a mountain. It's a very complex code that has been found, but basically, long story short, some of the things that it tries to do is it tries to spawn insects in the place that is the longest pathable place from, um, like, unroofed area. It also needs to have a player-built uh, structure or, or whatever, own structure within, like, I think it's 30 tiles, something like that. Let's just say, let's just say 30 to be safe. Um, and it tries to spawn somewhere that, uh, is, is dark. So basically, if you want insects to spawn with like 99.9%, um, or, or spawn 99.9% .9 of the time in your mountain base in the same spot, you make a bug bait room as deep, far in the mountain as you can, with one entrance to it, lots of little C curves around it, and a couple of doors or, uh, structures in there so that it triggers it. If you want to see this... You can go into developer mode. It does not need to be in a home area. No, areas don't have anything to do with it. Uh, so it literally is just under overhead mountain and player owned structure within the vicinity. That's all the baseline is. But to make it more likely, you want it the furthest pathable from, um, from an unroofed area. And you can see this by going into developer mode. So you can turn on developer mode and then you go in the options and I think it's called paint infestation chance or something like that. And what it'll do is it will make the areas that bugs are more likely to spawn in as darker blue. And then lighter blue means way less likely. And then no blue means they can't spawn there. And so if you go test this in a mountain base with dev mode or whatever, and you do what I told you and you turn on the show infestation chance, it'll show you that it's almost guaranteed for them to spawn in that back room that is the furthest pathable area from unroofed as long as you also have a player uh own structure and stuff am i gonna upload these to youtube yes the first one's already on there yep so that's that's the very my if you want the specifics all the specifics are over in the discord just search for infestation if you want in my discord and you'll see like the code and screenshots and clips of the dev mode stuff and all that where it was uh it was figured out but that's the very short of it Burning some waste packs, some in some of the new insects. I'm yeah, I definitely want to do that too. So yeah, that, that's the short of it. Yep, no problem. Infection on one of the children. Okay. Yeah, no problem. You wish more games had me oh to, to teach you about it? Yeah. Thank you. It's kind of you to say. All right, uh, do we end up doing these? We did not. All right, let's do them. So new insect type added. Not a new insect type, but pollution can strengthen insects now. So pollution can cause insect cocoons and you can get insects from there. And so pollution basically causes insects and and make them, uh, make them stronger, yeah. What's the long of it? The long of it is in the Discord. There's a lot to it. There's all kinds of things about region scanning and all this other crazy bullcrap. Tet. <laughs> Rest tutorial. I'm working on it. I don't have a lot of time. The burn tunnel works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, we did test it. I'm gonna join. It's another child. Oh my god, children. Children. I 
don't want all these children. How fast do they grow in vats? Can I shove someone that's already three into a vat? <laughs> it's a tier six. We have another tier seven one, so I probably should keep them, but... Freaking kids. You can shove three-year-olds into a vat? Excellent. I don't got steel to make vets. <laughs> did I turn that the wrong way? I did. Let's see if they can connect multiple ones or not. They grow at 10x speed in the vats. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. 10x speed, you say? <laughs> the new shells yeah they're really nice if you turn the settings all the way up it can be 40x multiplier that's actually nuts <laughs> that's insane you could have a, a huge army in like no time what are the top three mods that i wouldn't play without you mean like if i were what are the three mods all right let me try to rephrase it aside from what i'm using right now with no pause p music camera plus aside from those if i added three more mods what would they be? Is that is that better? Because I don't I already don't play with any mods other than basically a base three. I play with no pause, P music, and camera plus. Those are my three. If I were to add three more, especially to the base game, what would they be? Defensive positions. Defensive positions is so good and it's so nice in no pause. It's super super nice. So defensive positions, I would add straight into the game. Hmm. Second, yeah, I wouldn't put random plus. Probably Octung. Octung. He mispronounced it on purpose. And then either replace stuff or minify everything. I actually think I would do replace stuff, minify everything, and defensive positions. So. The allow tool. Most of the allow tool stuff is already in the base game, so that would be... I feel like that would be a waste. Quality builder? Eh. One video on YouTube? Yes, I'm aware. Yeah. I can't load them all up at once. So, one a day right now. Yeah. One a day on YouTube. Heavily modded run? I'm not opposed to it eventually, but it's going to be way out now with uh, with the new DLC being, being here, you know? Oh my god. Can't cl click him. Haul urgently. You can kind of do a haul urgently in the base game. If you go into your work tab and you don't use number one for anything other than emergency uh, and then when you need to haul something urgently set it to haul and then put those people that you want to haul urgently on one but yeah it is nice to have a haul urgently button yeah minify everything feels op it's not as op as it used to be when you could move like mech shields into your base and whatnot but yeah it is strong trying to use it about your debug log with spam errors uh mine hasn't done that vizoth yeah Still wanting a combat extended run. Growth moment. Oh, we're out of wood, basically. A growth moment on blood. It's one of the child prisoners. All right, guys. This kid has been in prison since three years old. And all he's done is be in prison fist fighting since he was three. I'll see what he gets.
Sanguine. He could grow up to be our leader. <laughs> oh man, imagine that. Imagine that. Sanguine, neuronic, or bloodlust. I'm absolutely taking Sanguine because we need a Sanguine pun as our leader, or I would like one. Bloodlust makes a lot of sense though. Sanguine it is. Way to go, blood, way to go. Oh my God, he's missing a nose, an ear, a hand, a and multiple toes. Sanguine, as in the color of blood. <laughs> he misunderstood what the word meant. We can rebuild him later. Are they exempt from prison now? I don't know. Should we let them out? We do have other bloods in there, right? All right, let them out. Faster, stronger, smarter. God, I'm gonna have so many children on here. Need to nurture the leader. No, we need to to mold them through turmoil. <laughs> All right, nice. Nice, another child. How's that baby doing? He's fine. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about that kid. He's going to be all right. Maybe not all right. Maybe that's not the right word, but... Can you make him lead? No, you have to wait. Yeah, I tried that with a different one. Okay. Existence is suffering. Child in his life is fighting nonstop. That's all he did, yeah. Fighting Lester. Fighting Lester off every day. Man, that sounds terrible. That's what he did. Lend an ear, a toe, a toe the line and keep his nose out of other people's business. <laughs> it's 40K down. It's a baseliner, a bug or intended. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had that happen yet, but I, I don't know. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, someone else did ask, so I'm not sure if it's intended or a bug. Yeah, it seems like they should at least pass on the physical traits, so... Rice is more, so rice is more labor intensive, but it's less prone. Well, there's a couple things here. Rice and rich soil is, is better. I got to put a, a clip or a guide out on this because it's, it's asked all the time. Not, not anything with you, of course. Anyway, rice takes more work. So if work time doesn't matter for you, rice is safer. Rice is safer because it comes in more incrementally. So therefore it's well safer and it's more safe to events. So if you have something like a toxic fallout, and you lose all your rice, or let's say you have a fire and you lose rice, it'll grow back pretty quickly. But if you have corn that's been 70% through or whatever, and it it all, a lot of it gets burned, event happens, whatever, it's taken out, that takes a long time to get, to get recovered. Now in normal soil, it changed a little bit, but rice obviously is the only one for food in the uh, hydroponics. In normal soil, you can use, you know, corn or potatoes. In stony soil, potatoes are the best because they have uh, the lowest fertility sensitivity. So potatoes are good in like normal or especially in stony soil because they have like basically no fertility sensitivity compared to the other ones. But yeah, it's, it's a trade-off. So do you care about spending the extra work? Or like if you want to spend the extra work for the safety, then rice is kind of the way to go. Um, the best thing to do though is usually to split rice and corn until you get hydroponics. Um, that way you have the best of both worlds. But also with bots now, we have a... Um, Agrahan bot that does nothing but do sowing, uh, planting, harvesting, whatever. And that's all it can do, so we might as well just have it doing that all the time. But yeah, that, that's the, sh again, the short of it is, like, it, it depends. For me, though, I don't mind the playthrough taking a long time, and I don't mind wasting, or wasting, I don't mind the reduced efficiency in order to have a safer food supply. Like, also with biotech now, food is kind of crazy because a lot most people need a lot more food like all the like genetics oh god all the genetics and things like that require more can you get blight and hydroponics yes you can um but like a lot of the genetics making make them eat more food 
And then you need food for like the different vats and all other kind of crap. So cut the arm off. What? He's he's beating it. <laughs> I have a themed run. I have a lot of themed runs in mind for this. Yeah, I would like to literally do a themed run with the baseline of each faction. <laughs> he doesn't need it. Just cut it off. <laughs> it's not to save him. It's just that he doesn't need it. Much of a difference is ideology. It is more different. Yeah, it's probably it feels like two expansions. It's yeah, it's it adds it makes the game much different, more different than ideology made it. Yeah, they're sanguine. See, he survived it. <laughs> Cut it off anyway. He's already missing a hand on that side. You'd say it almost feels like three DLCs. All right, please stop sending me more children. Let's see. Scan plastic, nice. I want to do a waster run. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably narrow it down myself to like four or five runs, and I'll put a poll out. Yeah. Also, for anyone that didn't uh, didn't hear, I'm gonna be giving some biotech keys out over the next couple days. Uh, none are give, getting given out today for me anyway, but I will be giving away some, some, so if you have been like, if, if you've been bummed cause you're like, man, I can't afford the expansion or anything like that. Um, you know, hope, hopefully this will give you a chance to get one at least. So you already got it. It's too late for you. 37. What? That's it. They're just steam keys. Yeah. It's not available on, on, uh, console it's a dlc yes <clears throat> 37 slave collars for two res serums that's crazy we don't have any deaths yet though but we will i can also get this stuff for the ship but i'm not i'm not gonna build the ship yet no abominations of science yet have you seen our three-year-old vampire that has like 20 genes. That's actually crazy. Two res serums. We could save it in case some someone that is going to eventually die. Uh, that's true. Yeah, you could, we could make my character no longer the Mechanitor. I wouldn't want to do that, though. Yeah, now he's like 11. He was at three. Yeah, he was three. I think I'll do this. Okay. How many days do we have? 27. Wow, okay. That's no problem. No problem. We can finish making the clothing for our people, and then we'll get on that. I wonder if they're more common now, yeah. If you're probably behave the way your original did. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to finish those off and then we're going to switch this over to, so we're going to stop sewing on this one. And then we're going to switch that to drugs after that. But let's see what else we get here. Uh, Mr. Illy, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'm not sure, was that an, uh, an autocorrect or is that something I don't know? Either way, I uh, thank you for watching. Timeless, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Timeless. And Air Custom Games, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Demon SRT, four months. Thank you also. Draco, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Coffee, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, Coffee. Hope I didn't miss anyone else. Hydro on top of polluted soil. It should be fine. Yeah, I haven't tested it, but I imagine it would be. Fun fair, not fun enough, apparently. Masterwork. Man, he's pumping out masterwork clothing. Holy crap. Only 11 more months for an entire calendar year, almost. Uh, No new raid mechanics? Not, well, kinda. There's no more center drop mechs. And now mech raids prepare for a while. So, ki kinda new behaviors, but not new to the game entirely. 
Growth moment. Child. Which one is child? I gotta stop naming them all childs. All right, let's see. All right, childs. Melee shooting or cooking. Night owl. Slow learner, abrasive, or too smart. This is one of the new ones. Looks. Black. Over marine. Over. Uh, no, it does not work that way. Hang on. I guess I'll give him Night Owl. Night Owl shooting, I suppose. So the tiers of armor, it depends of a ton on actual quality of the armor. But basically, flak vest over button down with duster or cape is usually better defense overall than recon. And then after that, it's pretty straightforward. Then you start eating the trade off. So Marine is going to be better than recon or flak, but it's going to slow you down. It has a movement decrease. Cataphract is even better than that, but you get an even higher uh, movement penalty. So yeah, Cataphract, absolutely out of those tiers. But in general, flak vest plus uh, button down plus duster or cape, usually depending on quality, ends up being overall better than recon. Now, there is an argument with Recon because it is a... Whether it's better or worse, also because of the single layer to it, you know? To, instead of rolling multiple layers. But that gets into a bunch of... A bunch of math, and we don't like that. No, but that's basically how it works, yeah. That's awesome, yeah. Thank you, Troy, for watching. Corey, welcome in. All right. All right, let's do the next one. That Cir Centurion mech was kind of cool. Hmm. I forget, we're not getting any other joins, huh? All right, let's do it again. Trin, Teeters, welcome in. Solon, welcome in. Never seen before. Another wanderer. Is it going to be another child? Nope. Whoa, he just comes in and immediately starts shooting. Slow learner. Ugh. I hate slow learners so much. Two fat crew. Oh, you're get. Uh, what are you giving away? Are you, yeah, I'm fine with it. Two fat crew. What are you thinking about giving away today? That's true. The thing is now with like jeans, they're not as bad. They're not permanent. My daughter's birthday uh, is on Monday. Yes, my daughter's birthday is on Monday. Hmm. What mods do I use? You can do exclamation mods, but basically no pause and camera plus. P music. All right, I'll keep them. I usually don't, but with jeans, we can we can make them better later on. Minoc, <laughs> sorry, Minoc. <laughs> sorry, Minoc. Okay. All right. Uh, now this is done, we need to start getting those guns out, and we should be able to make much better ones now. Uh, Accord, what did your crafting it up to? A tin. He was at a six last time, so start making those again, and then uh, once everyone has those, we will end up switching over to um, uh, making helmet stuff. So small shells. Yeah, it's nice. My email? Oh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you found it. I think I do have a command. If I, I meant to set one up, but either way, you found it. Thank you. All right, crisis of belief. 
Oh, that's in the prison. Okay. Um, that needs repairs. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Yeah, I was going to wait until I got all the clothing done. Scan steel. Pretty far away. Why is proselytizer good? Proselytizer cuts down uh, a ton on converting people to your ideology, which can be big for several reasons, especially if you're using something like um, Extremely Bigoted. It can get you to the mood buffs, uh, away from the mood detriment, and therefore to the mood buffs faster. Proselytizer is just a really good one. It increases the um, the rate that you convert people uh, by, by quite a lot. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Haven't heard that in a while. Sanguine Child's watching Brunarg. Okay. Give you one through Steam. First person to send you a friend request on Steam and can answer the following questions. We'll get a copy of Biotech. Question. In New Mexico, in the United States, when someone orders something Christmas style, what are they asking for? <laughs> I don't think Processizer has a downside, no. Why am I making cloth clothing? Well, cloth clothing may, may not be good, but it's better than not making any clothing and having everyone naked. So cloth is better. But also, I do think, so Devil Strand is the third best textile in the game. It is super good. But the thing about Devil Strand, I think um, people kind of overvalue some of the cloth a little bit. Like, yes, Hyperweave and Thrombo Fur are super awesome. And if you're completely min-maxing, yes, your, your third choice is Devil Strand if you can be on a map long enough for it to, to grow. But the difference in someone dying, the percent chance of them dying in a cloth duster compared to like a leather duster is not very much. The real value is going to be the flak vest or the armor over the top or whatever. So it's really not that big of a deal. But in this case, it's a, you know, that's what we have on hand and using what we have is better than nothing. And eventually we'll probably switch over to Devil Strand, but we're just not there yet oh, I think we actually are uh, pushing our power limit we are yeah. we're at our power limit never heard it before us most likely it's unfair for everyone <laughs> flak vest flak vest is Depending on quality, basically equivalent to recon when you factor in the other parts, yeah. I thought I had turned it off. Apparently turn it back on. Oh, I forgot to check that ship, the last one. We don't really have anything to sell yet, so I'm not worried about checking that one or putting down beacons yet, but yeah, anyway. How, oh crap, <laughs> Yoshi, sorry. I was answering questions in chat and he's been over here for ages. We don't need him, he's a sacrifice, but in fact, it might be good. Did they reset during that time? They were pretty close. Ah, it was all planned, it was all planned. Flag jackets aren't great, no. No, I have not. We don't have the stuff to make the tier two mech yet. Uh, I need Plasteel. We could buy some Plasteel here, maybe. Thank you, Tet. I will check. Yeah, thank you. But no, we didn't have all the materials, so. Let's see what they restocked with. Gene packs for toxic resistance. For green skin. Death rest capacity serum. Word of trust. We should have a little bit of plasteel back now. I'll, I'll double check before I buy anything.
We have 47. How much did it take? It takes 32. So we actually could make it now, I think. Because we did get the core. Let's turn that back on. Okay. Was that... Uh, Artie. Artie, thank you for the raid. Very much appreciated. Welcome in. Let's go on, Artie. Triple stack on the shells. Yeah, it's very nice. Super, super good. Join that a lot. All right. So instead, we will just uh, get components. There we go. Come on back. Thanks for the thanks. Uh, safe distance you can travel on caravans that will cut down on get attacked on routes. Play a solo start and need to travel. Okay, so here's the thing ab about that. There, There is something about this. If you do a caravan with only a single person, a single animal, and less than 10,000 wealth, the odds of them getting attacked is very low. And if they get attacked, it will only ever be one raider with melee weapons only. So if you're one caravaner, if you're staying under 10,000 wealth, and like I said, you don't have a bunch of animals, if you're one caravaner has the utility, whether that's from, uh, um, you know, a shock lance or they're just strong or whatever, as long as they are strong enough to down, uh, defend themselves against one melee raider, then they're basically safe forever. Now you can also get attacked by things like two rabbits or whatever, but as long as they can do that, uh, they're fine. So... <laughs> it's only a tough brawler. Now, it could be a tough brawler. The odds are pretty pretty low. Are children part of the DLC? DLC, yep. Uh, Artie, thank you for the resub. Thank you, Artie. Appreciate it. Happy Saturday. An SA. <laughs> Hello from Portugal. Thank you. Thank you for the four months. I appreciate it. Two manhunter turtles. No, you can outrun those. Easy. Two rabbits. The answer was having something red and green with chili. That's what I thought. Does it include pack animals? I think it does now, yeah. I think it used to be one combat animal, but I think it's pack animals. Can you make a child meat farm? I think so. <gasps> Who put the baby in the freezer? Oh my god. She'll never haul her own baby? Sparky! You idiot! Get that baby out of there! <laughs> He dumped it in the freezer with all of the toxic waste. <laughs> and now it's crying. I wonder why. I wonder why, Sparky. I wonder why. Good Lord. Baby's comfort ranges and make sure their crib is in that range. It, yeah, they've been in it a lot. Oh no. He's trying to murder me. Yoshi. You are a sacrifice. I will not stand by this. There's a lot going on. For God's sake. Keep the baby fresh. Superhero origin story. <laughs> it's the FBI. That's the next raid. Who put the baby in the freezer? What a quote. <laughs> it was slapping the heat debuff. <laughs> so they just put it out there. I said I was going to just let them deal with the slapping the heat until later on when I got some of the other steel type stuff done, but not exactly what I had in mind. Need 80 more steel. Okay. Mine, mine. Create a medic. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't. Those are the tier three ones. Those are the tier three. 
How much longer will I stream today? Not very much longer. Probably one more raid. <laughs> uh, Elk, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Maybe using that here. Uh, the Twitch Prime counts the same as tier one stuff. I really do. The reason I started doing that, a lot of people probably get sick of it. But honestly, I used to get people that would come in and ask about it. And um, they were like, no, they just literally didn't know what the Twitch Prime thing was. So for anyone that really doesn't know, if you link Amazon to Twitch, it will give you a free sub that you can use somewhere on Twitch once a month. You have to use it every month or else it doesn't renew. And um, yeah, if you do have Twitch Prime, like use it somewhere. Even if you don't use it here, just don't let it go to waste, you know? Um, but yeah. Wait, extracting? Extracting what? Oh, the waste. All right, so that makes sense. There you go. Have a good night. Zed, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Good reminder. Thank you, Zed. Six months already. Kids with guns OP because they are smaller and should be harder to shoot. The downside is they take a long time to aim. So when you give a kid a gun, they have really slow aim. <laughs> Frankles, they use the Twitch Prime also. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, also, if you use your Twitch Prime here, you get no ads on the channel for 30 days. You get to use all of the emotes and it financially supports the stream as well. But yeah, use it somewhere. Just don't let it go to waste. Even if you don't use it here, uh, use it on whichever channel you watch the most. Of course, I appreciate you if you use it here, but yeah. yeah. Can you make kids shooting specialists? No. No. All right, finally, a large gestate. What? What did you just do? What? 16 tier 3 gift subs. The tier 3, what? Two Fat Crew, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, Two Fat Crew, thank you for all the support. I can't even. What is going on these days? Hang on, I have to see what our sub count is. One second. Pa pause the game. No, I can't. Sorry. What's the crap? We have... Oh my god, what? We have 2,845 paid subscribers. What in the crap? Guys. <laughs> That's insane. That is unreal. Like, I can't even... Believe the number. That's all of your allowance for the year? <laughs> Man, Too Fat Crew, thank you so much. Uh, it helps me and the family out, son. I'm sure you know. Uh, do you have, if you have Prime, can you give it away to someone else? No, no. 2,845. We unlocked eight new emote slots yesterday and today. <laughs> That's insane. I got to contact the emote artist. Just let chair play for now. I can't believe that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um... Oh god, there's more things happening. Uh, Dark Lux, thank you for the 100 bits. Count me out. Good to see you count me out. Thank you for 550 bits. Coco for the 100. Tipper, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Necro, thank you for the gift of the Cowboy Drugstore. <laughs> cowboy Drugstore. What's in a Cowboy Drugstore? Uh, Dark Lux, thank you for the 100 bits. Ice Cream Pudding, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Bard. Bard, thank you for the gift of the Butt Sniffer. Bard. Bard, Bard, Bard. I appreciate it. Yeah, they're repairing. It's fun. Uh, count me out. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Count me out. Mm -hmm. And it tushes. I still don't know if I'm doing that right. Is it tuss or tushes? 100 bits. Hey. Did you see or were you busy? Uh, two Fat Crew gifted a bunch of tier three subscriptions. And we're at almost 3,000 subscribers now. What you got? Okay. Do you want to wait until I'm done or? Okay. Soon. Tet, thank you for the gift sub to Smurf. Look at that. Smurf. Back back again. Thank you, Tet. Bard, thank you for the gift sub to Poop Shoot Pirate. Bard, you have gifted 
a sub to them before. I remember that name. How can you forget Poop Shoot Pirate? Taco, thank you for the subscription also. Thank you, Taco. What's going on with the baby? Oh, no, the baby's crying during this. Baby, aren't you happy for me? Sparky. Play with the baby. Wish. Thank you for the 299 bits. Thank you, Wish. Okay. I'll try it. Content wallflowers. And you give sub to Manticore. How many raid points are the bots worth? So bots are not worth any direct raid points, unlike combo, sorry, combat pets or um, colonists. However, they are worth wealth. So the wealth actually does give you raid points, but they don't have extra raid points. So for example, the Militor thing, this one, the small one is 1800 wealth, which I think is a little high what it should be. And a centipede is like 2600 or something. Our auditor is worth the power wealth. I think they are in the late game, yeah. <laughs> Zim, thank you for the gift sub to Broken Space Bar. Bard for the sub to Secluded Moment. Minoc for the gift sub to Boshka. Thank you, Minoc. The baby wasn't crying in the freezer. They must have liked it there, yeah. <laughs> Bard, thank you for the sub to Tacosaurus. Tacosaurus. Lord, guys. Ringar, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Ringar. Long time YouTube watcher. Yeah, thank you for watching over there. I feel like I'm thanking everyone all the time, but I do appreciate you. Thank you. Time for dinner. Yeah, thank you for watching over or coming over here and thank you for watching on YouTube. Bard, thank you for gift sub to Slumber Project. Thank you, Bard. Oh, my Lord. Thank you, Bard. Fun party, not fun enough. All right, so these are the colonists that we're going to be left with for now. Why is there a child named Blood 2? That's not a child. That's a prisoner. Can't you tell? Because they're in a prison. Prisoners are not children. They're not adults. They're not even human. <laughs> Bard, thank you for the sub to Rig. Thank you, Bard. Another gift sub. Thank you, Bard. Prisoners don't have rights. We're not even on Earth. Try the flame bow. No, some uh, enemies used it against us, but I haven't used one. Prison, daycare, what's... He's age six. Well, he was age three when we imprisoned him, so... He's getting up there. He's getting up there. If a baby's in the freezer and no one can hear it crying, is it really crying? I can't wait to see this new mech. How long does it take? 1.9 days. All right. We got to at least wait until our new mech is up. Show the blood extraction. Um, The actual one that does the bags? Sure. The hemogen pack? Here we go. Here we go. So we're at 7,003 experience. Wait, taking one bag of blood gave us 3,000 experience? I mean, we have a burning passion, but we don't have like fast learner or something. What? 3,000? I was thinking it was going to do like 300, 500, maybe. 3,000. I knew, uh, yeah, I know you mentioned it gave experience, but I didn't know it was that much. The baby drank it? Of course they did, yeah. Uh, Soviet. Soviet Sean. Thank you for coming over from YouTube. What? Thank you for watching over there. Caesar, thank you for 1,800 bits. Thank you, Caesar. Bar, thank you for the gift sub to Zwera. Zwera? Zwera? Probably mispronouncing that. Wait, Blood 2 is the one that ate it. Not even the other one. Oh, well. Which baby drinks the blood? Who cares? <laughs> the baby went straight for it. Nice. I, I know you can. Yeah, I specifically didn't do it because I have them set to blood feed. Ooh. 
Combat Plasteel. Meteorite. Nice. Thanks, Randy. What is this, Randy? What do we have here? Man, oh man, you can max out a doctor very easily. Holy crap. Hello. It is, it's hot in this room. Baby likes blood. Thank you, Randy. All right. Was I punching children? No. I mean, I did shoot at a child with a, with a assault rifle, but before that, the children were just fighting themselves. Yeah, they were just, we had, we had two three-year-olds in prison and they were just fighting each other until they both fell down. In fact, one of the children is missing like half his body parts from fighting in prison. But he's like six years old now, so don't worry about him. Okay. Scarhoof, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Scarhoof. My wife has asked me what was going on here. She's like, did I hear something about punching children? What do you think about the new DLC? I'm liking it a whole lot. Yeah, it's really crazy. It's it's really crazy. No, your uh, your English is way better than my any second language that I could try to muster. So no need to apologize. Public transport with a headset disconnects. <laughs> Chaos. Yeah, I can't imagine that. All right, 1.3 days. Don't tell my wife about Mo. Lester. English is your third language. All right, so another thing I'm going to do finally is, uh, and for anyone that's like, wow, why don't you lean into the new mechanics and do things with the babies and whatnot? We are to an extent, but I'm going to do themed playthroughs where I really um, try to do those things very specifically. In this one, we're just trying to touch on just about every new thing of the game uh, and get to late game and then maybe do more of it in the late game. But uh, we are doing a little bit of all of it. But we will do runs like uh, the good guy run where we have to uh, have charity and, and treat all the children right and all that, you know, all that kind of stuff. So don't worry, that kind of stuff is coming as well. This one, though, we're basically uh, testing out everything, like I said, especially the new mix. Where's the death casket? You don't have to have a death casket. You can have them death rest in a bed. The casket is just more efficient. Lord of the Flies playthrough, yeah. Found me just yesterday. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you found the stream. Lots of content on YouTube. If you haven't already checked there, maybe you found it on YouTube. All right, what was this insult about? Brozankian called Get a Life Gamer a robber. Oh, you're right. There's, uh, yeah, yeah. You're right. There's another cycle after, my bad. Slave collars, yeah. I don't know that we're going to have enough material. We have like 20-something days. I guess it depends. We'll see when this comes in if we have enough. Yeah, I want to do a waster run too. I want to try to pollute the world. Maybe we'll do like a 15% world and try to pollute the entire thing or something. Okay. Something like that. Hang on YouTube, watching the cheese run. The cheese run was pretty silly, yeah. I like that one. Uh, I will definitely create some Zeno types too. I have lots of ideas. I mean, we could do all kinds of crazy stuff, yeah. Dwarves and everything else. Wealth independent waster run, that would be interesting. Where's the friggin' baby now? Oh, okay, it's breastfeeding, it's fine. It's fine. Your run is your favorite? My favorite run is the... It, it wasn't my favorite to play. It was the most god-awful run to play. But my least watched run on YouTube, I think, is my best one or maybe one of my best ones. It's definitely the hardest. And that's the melee-only run. But the melee-only run also has the most RimWorld stories in it of any run I've ever done. And it's really crazy. So my favorite runs on YouTube that I think are the most entertaining is the melee run as a whole... The Fluid Ideology Episode 1. Fluid Ideology S Episode 1 with a prostitute is just insane room world. Uh, and it shows how crazy Randy is. What's really insane with that Fluid run, I had someone come into the stream like day three and they were like, you don't seem like you've gotten a lot done to be four years into the run. And I was like, go, go watch the beginning. <laughs> um, and then the No Kill Box run, I'm pretty proud of. No Kill Box run just went live, so I'm pretty proud of that one. I actually had someone tell me now. So for a long time, people were like, 
I bet you couldn't do 500% no pause with no kill boxes or trap tunnels or stuff. And so I did it. And now I have people commenting on that one telling me that I made it too easy. I was like, what do you want from me? <laughs> and like, yeah, but you use the shooting specialist. It's like, Jesus Christ, what do you want me to do? Melee run with all the genes gonna be a lot easier, yeah. Uh, the fluid one one was the jungle, yeah, the jungle prostitute, yeah. What is 500%? It's a difficulty multiplier. It's the highest difficulty in the game. Losing is fun is 220% multiplier, and 500% is, um... So it basically makes raids bigger faster, way bigger. No house, no gun run. I really want to see this mech. How long is the second cycle going to be, I wonder? No colonist run win. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. I can't. I, it doesn't upset me. You can't please everyone. Yeah. Play on the Steam Deck with no pause. <laughs> How do you add more control groups? I don't know. I haven't gotten to that point yet. If you know, let me know. But so far, I only have the two. But. Me melee only. I didn't do any cheese on the melee only. I didn't use quarter punch or anything. What's my favorite DLC edition right now? I haven't really dipped into a, t a ton. So I guess right now the mechs, but that's the main one I've dipped into. So no eyes, no pants. Uh, well, I'm already halfway to that one. Our first dug too deep. Check new mech fishy on experiment. Regenerate anyway. Got down by first shot. Oh man, the yeah, that makes sense. I was gonna say it kind of sucks that they go after the mechs, but the insects were genetically built in the lore to go after mechs, so it kind of makes a lot of sense, actually. Man, they're just hunting down the mechs. That's annoying. What if I can just deactivate them? What if they'll go after deactivated mechs? Upload the Elden Ring playthroughs. I would really like to. Yeah. I want to. Um, it's not good for the channel to do it right now, but I am working on getting an editor, and that will allow me some more time to do some of those more, like, um, side projects, passion project type, whatever. But at the moment, it wouldn't be very good for the algorithm at all, especially with all the biotech stuff. But, yeah. I hope so. I still have them. A mechanics were solo run. Yeah, I want to try that. Yeah. Why does he keep putting the baby in the freezer? Is it because slip in the heat? All right. It's got to be. That's the only thing that can be going on here. I'm going to have to make air conditioners so they stop putting the baby in the freezer. He just took it right back. <laughs> it's negative 17 degrees in there. Baby doesn't care. Doesn't care. Oh, 2.4 days. All right. I don't have the steel. Got to get some steel built up so I can make the uh, make the coolers. Friggin' baby. Let's see if he does it again. Baby's going in the freezer. Parenting one on one. If your baby's hot, put him in the freezer. <laughs> no. 
Uh, Scarhoof, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Silly Idea, thank you for the 100 bits. Still displaced from the hurricane. Wow. Good fix. Yeah, sorry, Silly Idea. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hopefully you, uh... Hopefully you're not, uh... Out for too much longer. Jeez. If it worked for my beer, it'll work for the baby. All right. Okay, every time the baby's missing now, I just look at the freezer first. Can you zone the baby? No, I don't think so. No. More viewers than Bob Ross. <laughs> I would hope to have more viewers than, than most dead people. But no, I have watched the Bob Ross channel with my daughter. She and I used to watch that quite a bit when she was little. How do I deal with toxic waste? So what I do with toxic waste, I'm very environmentally conscious myself. So what I would what I do is I take someone that I don't care about and I load them down with it, load some animals down with it, and I take it out away from my base and I just dump it. Like I dump it in a river, I dump it and you might say, but Adam, that's not environmentally conscious. Well, it is because it's downstream. So you see, it doesn't come back to us. So I just take it down. And I just dump it down by the river and uh, don't care about it at the moment. That's what I've been doing. Seriously. What can you get from bugs? Just bug meat from the infestations. You can get jelly. Oh, get that steel, man. Come on. I really feel like, maybe it's my imagination, but I feel like we're like mining slower. In fact, map of pollution, but you can remove pollution from the map. Uh, yes, you can do both. Yeah, you can, re you can remove both. And there's also a natural way that pollution can be removed. I'm not sure how fast it is. I think it's probably gonna be pretty slow. But there are trees that can spawn that actually absorb the pollution uh, in that small area. So there's that, but there there's other, yeah. That's the, that's one of the methods at the moment. Future and environmental politics. Politicians just love him, love him, love him. A van down by the river, that's right. <laughs> oh, from the world map? Can you remove pollution from a world map tile? I don't know, I, not that I know of actually. Yeah, that's a good question. All right, we're finally overproducing. So out we go again. Okay. Additional groups by making the appropriate clothing item. Okay, so not you're talking about not just bandwidth, but there's ones that actually add additional groups as well. Because I've seen the bandwidth items, but I haven't seen ones that add to control group. There's a control group one? Okay. Is it the, um, is it like the backpack one? The packs? Okay. So the helmets are the, um, are primarily the bandwidth and the, the backpack is the one for the control group. Those pollution clearing trees. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It would be kind of nice if you could just plant them. Yeah. Don't know if they'll allow that though. Uh, so the idea, they were the seven months also. And Raymond, they were the eight months. They were the resubs. Uh, what features do I like the best so far? I don't... It, the main one I've dipped into is the mech, so I, I'll say the mechs right now. Can you just grow them? I don't see them on the list. Do they only pop up when it's polluted enough? You only need two groups anyway? Well, I... I'm fine with two groups, but I can understand why people might want more because you can have some in dormant self-charge, you can have some escorting, and then you can have some working. So I can see kind of a benefit. For me, I'll probably just use two groups though. Locked behind research for the tree? Are you saying there's advanced research to make a tree? Because we have tree sewing. I 
I mean, there's the atomizer, but that's not a tree. There's the detoxifier stuff. That's not, that's not the same. Cheap stackable implants. Oh, stackable ones? Okay. Control sublink standard. Takes a signal chip, four components. Okay. Yeah, we can check that, yeah. So you can grow the Witchwood tree, Devil Strand, Psychoid, and Toxic Potato, but I don't see the tree that... It's a toxin-adapted tree, but it's not the one that removes the toxin into the air, right? I don't see a detoxifier-type tree. But yeah, I wonder if you can... Uh, I, I don't think they're replantable, either. I think I remember that from the... From the notes, so. Scan Jade. Another meteorite. Safeguarding someone. Three X size mech cluster. Six Archite capsules. Three X mech cluster. We're not ready for that. Unfortunately. Son of Oswald. I'm going to have to go soon, so I'm mainly trying to just see the new mech before I go. That's why my mod wife was in here. She just let me know. Time and all that kind of stuff. Okay. I mean, we can't get much more steel than that. Okay, bring that back. We've only got ambushed once. Should have said that. Should not have said that. Vampire baby, I had one, yeah. Do you talk to response related to the anima tree? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. So you can't like cultivate them. Okay. So how many adult shooters do we have? We have 11. That's pretty decent. Can you relocate them? Not from what I read. No, I haven't tried, but I have. I think I read that they're like the anima tree. We can't replant. Did I hear about the soft lock visiting children from quests? Uh, I haven't heard the details, but someone asked earlier if I had ran into it. How do you get the signal chip? You have to fight the mech boss. Yeah, we've already gotten one of them yet. Our new mech will be done in 1.6 days. How old is this baby? One. Do I still have the vampire kid? Yep. I do. His name is Experiment. I just now realized that Yoshi, Sacrifice Yoshi here, is the one that uh, put on that armor. Yeah, I think not Yoshi. How long until experiments next growth? Uh, let's see. Next growth moment at 13. He is 10, so about 40 days. It was bug fixed today. The soft lock. Okay, good. Let's go hairball. Okay. All right, we're looking pretty good. We just need uh, 
we need to upgrade our weapons and then we're we're pretty much set. I mean, it's not like we have bad weapons now at all, but. Looking pretty good. So these kids will grow up. Got the new mech coming. Uh, we don't have enough material to make the um, uh, the slave collar. So hopefully we'll have that in time. It's quite a bit. Yeah. Why is mine? So he's on triphasic because he has a bunch of debuffs. So he's a recluse. So he has a minus eight. I actually want to make someone else the leader, but at the moment he's two tiers higher in expectations and has a minus eight because he's a recluse amongst all these people. So right now I have him on the triphasic to keep him happy so that he doesn't break down and therefore the mechs, the combat mechs would be uncontrollable. We're just going to go ahead and smelt the slag for now. Then I'll set the others up. Mod, which I use to help generate a pawn. It's called Random Plus. Random Plus. Choose the prisoner child's perks on growth. Yes. And the better you, you treat them, the more options you get to choose from. And the more you get to choose. That's going, it's going pretty well. So far. Can you not put them on shelves at all anymore? It's not that you can't triple stack them. You literally can't put them on shelves at all. So Steel Slag Chunk can no longer go on shelves. I read it as in you won't be able to put three stacks of them on it. You, you can't put them all there at all. That's kind of crazy. Hmm. Facing the boss mechs? Yes, one of them, yeah. A little surprising. Yeah. New thing to remember, I suppose. Select similar would be a nice thing to have in the base game, too. Select similar would be nice. You can have a baby elf and put it on the shelf. <laughs> I suppose so. I suppose so. A werewolf? Basically, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I guess not. I They could be a werewolf, like, all the time, but I don't think you can get one that, like, transforms at night or something. But there is a... Uh, if, you, uh, if you like mods, I think the vanilla expanded people are making a lycanthropy mod for the DLC. Map... We'll have a ruined structure. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that earlier. So, the scenario uh, disables it. Yeah, for the the Mechanator scenario disables it, but the other scenarios have it on the map. And you can go to a new map even with a Mechanator and get a second one. That is interesting. Hmm. Heyday of the new biotech mechanics. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, I looked at the coming soon stuff or whatever they're working on with Vanilla Expanded. There's all kinds of crazy stuff on the way. Oh, I just want to see the new mech. 12 hours. 12 hours. It's coming. Aren't stackable. It doesn't make sense to put them on shelves. It, it does make sense because the shelf gets rid of the negative beauty hit. So before 1.4... The reason why you would put things like corpses or... Uh, now we can no longer do that joke, I guess. You put corpses and chunks and stuff because it would get rid of the beauty hit rather than having it on the floor. So if I zone uh, the steel slag chunks here, it actually reduces the quality of the room because of how ugly it is. But if you... Before, if you have a shelf and you throw them on the shelf, it doesn't count as being ugly anymore because on the floor, it's ugly. On the shelf, it's it's art. Just like it was, oh, we're at a Sanguine Host again. Uh, but anyway, um, before you could do that with corpses. Like, corpses on the floor, ew, we don't like corpses. Put them on a shelf, people don't care. Just like in real life. 
A single phage is looking for a safe place to meet two others. Uh, we can get the death rest capacity serum for experiment. Sure. You can betray them. Nah, it's fine. Let them in. Invite vampires in. That's what I've always been told. Corpse on the floor, crime. Corpse on a shelf, arts. Can you build a baby, baby playground with fences? Like, will it actually work as that? I don't know if they just... I saw that on the screenshot or whatever, but I don't know if they just did that for looks or what. Here they come. The sanguifages. Do they just come, like, every couple years? I, I understand, yeah. But I know. It's, it's always been that way. But I don't care. Because I will use more shelves later, but the moment using shelves i have all this room so if i use shelves if i if i make like 15 shelves it will literally send more raiders to me so there's there's no reason to at the moment but your stuff on the floor bothers people oh well the kids are right on the chalkboard i haven't seen them do that mad rats nice shot Yeah, I'm adding single phages quest yet. That's my second one. Here they go. Oh, you, so you haven't seen their meeting graphic either. Last time they met in my freezer. Thank you. Uh, Demos, or is it D? Is it Demos? Wait, are they meeting in the? Oh, they're running for the rats. What if the rats kill the vampires? Surely the rats can kill the vampires. They're meeting in the burn tunnel with the with the evil or with the killer rats. How do I feel about the mechs? I'm liking it so far. That is where they set it up. <laughs> Mindy has been bit by Chacken. What happens here? The rats are ignoring them? Oh, Zandy took him out. Hey, our new mech is done. There he is. All right, let's check this out. Look at him. Nice. They had an argument. He whipped. They whipped out chain shotguns. What? That's not how my last one went. We still got the reward. <laughs> uh. Wait, should I capture him? What faction is he? Does it have one? Wait, will Mindy get mad if I capture him? I mean, he, Mindy just tried to kill him. So pro probably not. We're, we're going to see. Fleeing fire. Yeah, yeah, okay. We have to do it for science. Hi, Mindy. Drug deal, take a violent turn. I guess so. I'm going to read the argument thing after this is done. All right, let's 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 check out this. Can you light a tree on fire? I can't. Okay.
All right. We're going to park that over at the kill tunnel. Uh, our burn tunnel is the best base defense against normal humanoid raids. Yeah. Why no uh, singularity box this run? Because it is too strong. Too strong. Now it's self-starting ish. All right, let's see this. The single phase just got into an argument and it has now escalated into violence. You know what I'm saying? There we go. We took him. Nice. Trigger happy fast walker. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just uh, convert them and we'll decide later. I think he's dead, yeah. His brain was destroyed, so pretty sure that one's not getting up. Pretty sure that one's not getting up. Okay. Have a guy on burn boxes? I do not. Not yet. I have it written, but I haven't recorded it. Getting a real education on how this game works. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. All right, I really wanted to do another raid, but I just don't have time. Uh, I've been on here longer than I was supposed to be, and I have to. I haven't eaten since like early, so I need to go eat, and then I need to get a video up on YouTube. Speaking of videos, uh, so yeah, let me. What are you doing? Hang on a second. There. So my knock is on his way. Okay, he's getting the blood. All right, all right. Uh, that's 1.4. The weapons below them is a 1.4 change, yeah. There we go. I drafted people to go take care of it, but apparently it wasn't in the home zone. <laughs> all right. All right. Let me end this recording before anything else happens. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we should be in like mid game, late game type stuff. I'm going to call in more bosses tomorrow. Um, we fought one boss today, but I'm going to fight more tomorrow. So we'll do a long stream tomorrow as well. And we'll see if we can get into the big mechs. I really want to see. I also want to see if centipedes will actually peak for us on if we control them. So that would be, that'd be really interesting. So uh, but yeah, let me end the recording and I'll tell you when that will be.